close. All right, we are back. This is 79th Street, Oak Island, North Carolina. This one's slippery. Yeah, be careful. Got a little slippery, but other than that, this thing looks beautiful. This thing's, from what I'm understanding, eight to 12 years old. This is one of the rubber roofs that we did. That's what I remember about it. The gutters on the sides. So it has no overhang. Check out my playlist for more videos of the overhang. We're gonna add an overhang to this. So it's been eight, 12 years ago we did this roof. Still looks beautiful. This is one of the ones where we left the old gutters. The old mobile home gutters are still there and we put our termination bar right along the top. So this is an old one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along the top of that termination bar that's out there. Fold the rubber back about two feet. We're gonna add a two foot piece all the way down through there. Over here, we already have a two foot piece. We're gonna add two foot with a six inch overhang over here. So check it out. Bill is cutting right now around everything so we can get rid of the rubber that's up here. So we're gonna peel this back. We're not going to do anything with them. They've been done. Drew's ripping in home repair. We're on Oak Island today working on a rubber roof. If you've been watching our videos, you will see or remember that we have uh, incorporated throughout the years an overhang on our mobile home roofs. What I mean by an overhang obviously is six inches over. If you look at the stains down the side of the house, look at this. The stains on the windows. That's all from water running down the side of this house. Of course, these gutters, if you notice, they, they fill up with, with crap and they don't work. So we're going to take this back, add six inch overhang, it goes to the light and go back with the new 60 mil rubber. 60 mil rubber. All right, so what we're doing is cutting around above this turn bar. We're going to peel all this rubber that we've got had to glued down. See, this is. Yeah, this is our old school glue. And it sticks pretty damn good. It's, with that termination bar on there, it's not coming off. That's nice. We're gonna peel it back two feet. We already just about got a line on the plywood. Huh? Okay. Let's rock and roll.
Break them screws off of the hammer right there. Give me the hammer. It just snap right off. All right, so uh, if you own a mobile home, this is what was covered up years and years ago. This right here. Uh, because of course you can see the old cool field leaked like crap back in the day. Just never was good stuff. Peels off, then you down to your bare metal. Next thing you know you're rusting. Lots of problems. Mobile home roof problems and we're here to fix it. Here to fix it. We're gonna add six inch overhang right here. Oh there Basically a plywood clip, what we're doing. This is the very first one that we ever did a rubber roof on and ended up coming back adding the overhang that we so love now. <coughs> so. This is a one-of-a-kind video right here. Mobile home re-roofing. We're gonna get rid of this old rubber. Give it an overhang all the way around, cover up these old gutters. Garbage. Oh, it's all garbage. Look at this. I mean, look how flimsy this tin is. And the cool seal is garbage. It flakes off. Terrible. This thing was rattling. I remember this thing was rattling back in the day. He uh, came up here and added all these screws in it to keep it from rattling. And then they started having leak problems. So here we are for our second trip to this job. He just loved the overhang on my new videos. Actually, we were working over there. If you uh, remember the 
boxing on a brick house. That's the house. He walked over there and uh, seen us working and asked us about a roof on this thing. He was talking about putting a metal roof on it. In other words, building it up with a ridge pole and everything else. They don't allow you to do that here at the beach without putting six by uh, six or four by six posts in the ground and running a, a band around this whole thing and running off that. You can't run it on top of the mobile home. So he went with rubber and the overhang to these scenes in my videos. Check out my playlist. You're going to love it. And we travel. We've been known to travel. Check out our travel videos. Six months. Really? Huh? <laughs> we were kidding. You know what I can't say in your game? I can't read them. I might be able to do it.
Now give you a gap. power getting down to the starter. No, I've got my transfer case. Oh, it's shot. Are you replacing? No. Oh, you shut the drive shaft out of it? No, I didn't take the drive shaft out yet. Just don't cut the wheel too hard and turn. Hey. Huh? I don't know you Awesome. Bill? What? Hold on, hey. I was gonna say. Since y'all are always gonna get the screw gun, I got the hammer, I need the hammer. Right there, Bill, that's what I need to be at. Like, huh? I'm starting to get where I'm getting off the bat over here. Alright, I'll give you a little gap. Hold it up, hold it up. Let me get off it. I'm gonna give you that.
Starting to sprinkle. Side the trader, buddy, not tumble. Wire it up and go spend about five grand in flex seal. I'm just going to try to tie it in my seat and see what it does. What, flex seal in your seat? Yeah. Seal the weather back, weather back together. What, is it ripped or is it falling out? No, it's all ripped up. Uh, this 3M makes a spray glue for that. But if you can find the seat cushions and shit, they're easy as fuck to do. Like, I was always scared doing seats, and in that Mercedes, I just kept saying, like, for a month straight, every other day, I was replacing air bladders and seats, so I got good at it. Well, I'm, I'm not putting no money into it. Look at me. 
41 and a half back here. 41 and a half? Yeah! Okay. Two of them at 41 and a half and a 65. We've added around here. It's six inches on the edge. That'll get a piece of two by four run down through there, and we'll show you that next step here in a minute. Oops, it's just about lunchtime right now, so we're going to take lunch. We'll see you when we get back. Hitting anything, Bill? Gonna take a lunch break. Lunch break. Good time for it. Nice. Say we did this roof about 14 years ago. Looks really good still. Went up like a, unbelievable. The guy had no leaks whatsoever. He just liked that overhang, so this is what he decided to do. And this is a new owner. He liked the overhang. We're giving him the overhang he likes. That's what he wants, right, Paul? Yep. All right. Battery. All right. Install in the self pressure because it is a bow in there. That two by four is not going to bow. Screw it spot. It's just trying to pull that plywood down. We use uh, ridge vent 
nails. Yeah, they, we use the ring, ring chin, ridge vent. Nice, right? Huge difference. I love it. No, that's the way to do it. Makes a nice ridge. You know, makes it gets makes it straight. Oh yeah. That's what gives the illusion of the peak. So by putting this up there and pulling that face down just a little bit. Um, what that's going to do is allow that to be more uh, straight. My, so you put a, what I do is we put a screw down there at the bottom. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Uh, screw it up. Anything left over hanging out, don't worry about it. You can cut it off after if you hang a little bit out there, not a problem. Beautiful thing. that plow down at squaring it up making it look like it has a ridge so even though it doesn't it will it will appear to have one more finished that's nice guys I like it Oops, sorry about that. And then we'll just shoot right down these sides with more you only got about 12 inches left to nail That's what it turns out. Don't hit my stick. Step by step. step by step, here it is. Break that down like I showed you, Paul. This black rubber that we have up here, we just cut it back. So if you get our overhang, we're ready to get rid of this thing here. And we're pulling up a 60 mil. This is a 045 PDM rubber. We're going to be using a 60 mil um, rubber. EPDM, Esther Patrick Daniel Mary.
might get presented with an award too for hiring him. That ends straight, Bill.
All right, that's a big old piece of 60 mil rubber. Thirty by sixteen gives us overhang on both sides. Yes, sir, that looks good. Of course, that'll smooth out once we glue it down. It'll set up over here all night. About a foot over here. Got about seven inches over here. Yeah. Six. Ready again. Maybe. Let me get in the middle, Paul. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I got like six. What do you got over there, Bill? Oh, I seven, got eight. eight. That's good. We got eight inches over there, too. Yeah. I like it. Black good on the side. All right, let's measure this one. What do you mean? All right, so right now we have 30 and 30 piece of rubber by 16 foot across because the roof measures 15. Side to side, we're giving it overhang for our turn bar. This one down here won't be so big. Plus 12. Put 17. So Plus 12. The, the seam's gonna be like right there. Right. Yeah. Six inches. Yeah, six inches. So you go 12 inches, that gives you three inches down there. Six and six. Of course, I still got some in there. That's a chore getting this stuff up. I usually use a ladder vader. Didn't bring it with us. Huh? The ladder vader would have been nice. We won't forget that ladder vader next time, will we? That would help out a lot. Alright, we're clamping it off for the night. Video one of two. Tomorrow we're gonna come back, bend all the fascia metal. We're gonna bend all the fascia metal tomorrow. All the way around, glue down the rubber, install our termination bar. So this is video one of two. Check out my playlist. I have a bunch of them. We're probably done over a hundred, hundred of these things. So um, they're all different. You know, mobile homes aren't the same. You have uh, some of them with humps in them, some of them with peaks in them. Some of them with uh, high parts in the middle, with walls, all different types. What do you say, Bill? And uh, yes, yeah, some of them um, have wires that you have to be real careful of. Some of them don't. This one didn't. Uh, so you want to watch out for wires when you start poking holes in these roofs and putting screws in. You could run into trouble. So if you're getting ready to do this on your own. Do me a favor and go to my playlist and type in, uh, or just go on YouTube and type in uh, mobile home roof fires and uh, why they happen. <laughs> and you'll see videos of wires on top of these things that you don't want to run into. Generally, the wires that you run into are going to be 1970, um, pretty older, the older models. No, you can get them in the early 70s too. Some of the early 70 models mobile homes had uh, wires that you'll see in them videos. So check out my playlist. Go see what you find. We also do mobile home floors. And if you want to do your own mobile home floor, you can uh, check out. Thank you. Nice meeting you both. 
Check out my uh, playlist, Mobile Home Floors. It will show you how to do floors. Um, tomorrow we'll show you how to do this metal all around this thing and glue the rubber down. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button and hit that uh, bell notification for you'll be notified. Thank you, buddies. YouTube out.